Hello guys, today I'll be teaching you how to uh, g uh, install the uh, General Electronic CF6 uh, engines for the JAR Design A330. This was re also requested by one of you from Discord this time. Um, yeah, this is going to be a tutorial like last video. Tomorrow I'll be doing the Tolis uh, Neo engines f uh, in the same video. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Uh, see you. Alright, the first thing you gotta do is download the uh, um, engine mod. I will have the link in the description for you guys. Um, just you have to be a count on threshold. Press the download this file and then press on this one. I already downloaded it for time's sake, but after you download it, you gotta go to your uh, wherever you store all your aircrafts. Make a like a backup what I do is uh, if you have Renoir add to archive just um, do compression method to best make sure it's raw or do that so we if we do mess up we have an extra one now what you gotta do is um, while it's doing that um, what you gotta do is open this and after this is done so after it's done extracting, you want to go into the engine mod, open it up, and, uh, it, there should be like a whole bunch of folders, and then once you open up the last one, you should see G engines. You want to move that engine over to the objects folder, so like that. Once you're done with that, we're going to have to go here. And then we're gonna have to open uh, something with our notepad, which is a text editing tool. Um, you would want to open 330 fuselage 2.obj. So, uh, hmm, you gotta find it. 30 fuse so okay so it's 330 fuse underscore 2 dot obj you wanna right click then you gotta go with open with notepad after that I would recommend you uh, do control F that's gonna in my first video I showed you guys what that is it basically searches for anything you type in there so in this case we gotta search this uh, I will have this in the description so you can copy and paste that so you guys can use it but then uh, never mind then I guess that doesn't work um but since that doesn't work all we gotta do is scroll down until we find it so we, what we are looking for is it's probably on the bottom yep it's over here okay so we gotta go to the part where it says a m i m underscore begin so we're looking for that spot and then we gotta change all the ones that has the hide in it so let me find it mm. should be like down here somewhere okay so um so it should be down here just scroll down until you see a n i m hide we're gonna we want to replace all of that with um this so replace this whole line to this to this um I will have this also in the description so you can copy and paste basically what we want to do is change all of the um original hide to the one I put in the description so this one
And basically, I'll get back to you guys once I'm done with all of that. So, yeah. Alright, after you're done, every, um, everyone that says hide, um, so, there's gonna be two hides, um, just change the one, so in the description, I'll just explain it more clearly, but I'll say, like, what you should replace, and then what you should replace it with, so to make it more easy, it's hard to explain, but when you're done with all of the hide replacing, what you gotta do, file and then save and then you X out um and then we gotta uh, edit another thing on uh, the um uh, the uh, notepad we gotta do M I S C underscore two dot O B J um we gotta open that with notepad as well and then we gotta navigate T R I S zero, yeah, basically that. So, uh, what we gotta do is navigate that. Um, I'm gonna try the control F thing. No guarantees it's gonna work, and it did work, I guess. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I found it for me. We gotta replace that. Um. Um, so basically, we gotta delete everything until ATTR underscore diffuse. Um, hold on. This is, this one is a bit harder than all though, so I'm having a hard time explaining this, but, uh, so you want to delete everything until so between these we got to go up until we find att or diffuse uh, oops i think i went past it So, we want to delete everything between this line and this line. So we got delete. Now, after you do that, you should only have you should have a gap, two spaces between att or diffuse and then t a t r i s. Uh, yeah, it's basically that. What you want to do is save and then close. Um. And then now we go to the um plane maker. Um I'll talk to you guys after I get in there. And after you're in uh plane maker you wanna go under file, press open, um and then uh a window should pop up like that. You wanna navigate over to the A three thirty folder. Where is it? Um right here. Open the 330.acf, open aircraft. This might look different for you guys since I have an older version of X-Plane. I'm not on beta. On beta, the plane maker navigator is different, but it's the same concept. You open the A330.acf. So, um, once you do that, it's going to load. Uh, I'll talk. And it's just loaded. What we got to do now, under standard, Hold on, let me just open this bigger so you guys can see this. So under standards, you want to go do MISC objects. We want to delete the following. Um, it's going to be... Let me double check. So we want to delete uh, 330engine.lh.obj. So... Um, and the RH, so... We want to delete these two right here. Delete and delete. That will take away the engines, basically. Now, as you can see, we have no engines on the plane whatsoever. Now, we want to uh, press the add button 
um, five times. So one, two, three, four, five. That would create five more blank objects. Um, and then uh, this will show five blank entries. So one, two, three, four, five. Now what we gotta do is um, click on the gray buttons, and we wanna open uh in the uh, new particles folder we have GD. So we want to open the GE particles that OBJ first. Open. Now we got to open the GE left engine that OBJ. And just a reminder, this is all going to be from that new engine you uh that new engine folder you added from the um mod. So next we will open the G right engine dot OBJ. And then we gotta do G engine um the N ones. So left N one these ones usually take longer because they're bigger. Um and then we open the left N one. After you do that you will see them appear, so they're all misplaced, as you can see. And now for each, so for the G engine particles, you leave. So now we're gonna get to the hard part. The particles all stay at zero for the coordinates, and then the left, um, the left N1 and engine is gonna be a positive 66.10. So remember that positive is up and negative is down, so 66. Oops. 66.10. It's going to be a negative 30.20 in the middle. Negative 30.20. It's going to be a negative, remember? And then uh, for the last one, it's going to be a negative 8.20. So, 8. Point twenty, and this is going to be the same for the GE left N one dot OBJ. So sixty six point ten, and then it's going to be a thirty. Oops, thirty point twenty negative, and then it's going to be a negative eight point twenty. Um, now for the right engines, it's going to be a positive 66.10 like the last one. Um, sixty-six point ten, and then instead of a negative 30, it's going to be a positive 30.20. So this time it's going to be a positive 30. Point twenty, and then the same uh, to the last one. It's gonna be a negative eight point twenty. So negative eight point twenty. Now, as you can see, the engines are getting mounted onto the wing slowly as we do this. Um, now we gotta do it to the right end one. Uh, what did I do? Oops. No wonder I had two extra engines. Hold on, I did it. I added uh, the GE left engines, two of them back, and I was gonna add the N1. I forgot to. I, I just don't mess up like I did. I didn't mean to. So, you're supposed to have two N1s, one for the left and one for the right, and two engines, one for the left, one for the right. I added two left one by accident, so. Now for the right one, it's going to be the same as the one we did previously, 66.10 positive. positive. 66.10, then instead of a positive, uh, instead of a negative 30.20, it's going to be a positive 30.20. Sorry, I'm being, uh, I'm just tired. So, yeah. Um, then negative 8.20. And then after that, 
you gotta set the shadow modes for all the objects except for the G E particles objects and the N one fast fast um objects to all views and the G E particles um so what we gotta do for the N ones we gotta do so we got so keep this a none the shadow mode to none and then for the N ones who for the prefills we want to do prefills so um where is the other N one oops prefill so the N one should be none for shadow mode and then prefill for the prefilled things and then the rest except for the particles is shadow mode is going to be all views and then the prefill is no prefill for the left and right engines and then the particle is left uh what it is so yeah um and then what we got to do now um is um x it out and then go to file save now as you can see we have our brand new engines let me show you guys this um as you can see these are the engines they're comp they're good they're mounted on perfectly don't see any uh floating areas either so yeah now all you got to do is close that you can load into the game now I'm sorry if there's a lot of, like, you know, pause in the stream um, when I'm talking because this is also my first time doing this. Um, I am reading through the menu while you're doing this, so, um, yeah, hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe. Thank you for the suggestion. See ya.